request for remote access on live stream at the YouTube channel published. Participation may be by telephone only access onto the video platform. For telephone access, there's information public. This meeting may inadvertently cause a quorum of, of other county committees or the county board of supervisors. No decisions of any other committees or the board of supervisors will be conducted at this meeting. Uh, roll call shows uh, Dwayne Federowitz is excused. Everyone else is here. This proper notice has been posted and given to the media in accordance with Wisconsin statutes so that the citizenry may be aware of the time, place, and agenda of this meeting. Did you have a chance to look at the agenda? Yes. Thank you. Someone will make a motion to approve. I'll make a motion to approve the agenda. It's written. Oh, sir. Thank you. Moved by Supervisor Hardy, seconded by Supervisor Wilford to approve the agenda as written. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, motion carries. So, have you had a chance? The, the next thing is to approve the minute, minutes from the July 12th meeting. I'll move to approve the minutes from July 12th. Thank you. Is there a second? McClellan seconds. Moved by Supervisor Hardy, seconded by Supervisor McClellan to approve the minutes from the July 12th meeting. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, motion carried. At this point, we open the floor for public comment. If you are not on the agenda, we cannot take any action, but it's a chance to comment. Any public comment? Any public comment? No public comment. So we'll, we'll uh, start. Oh, we got uh, supervisor reports. Anybody got any, been any seminars, anything you want to report on? Okay, well then we'll start with the first hearing. The Planning and Zoning Committee meeting and public hearings to be considered today, Tuesday, July 26, 2022, are open to the public. Anyone present may speak, providing they stand up and identify themselves and have filled out a notice of public appearance sheet, which are located in the box by the entrance door. Anyone attending via phone or Zoom meeting may speak, provided they identify themselves by name and address before doing so. We are recording these proceedings, so it is important that you state your name and address before addressing the committee. We request that you do not interfere with or interject comments while another person has the floor. The chair will permit adequate time for anyone wishing to speak and may compel the attendance of witnesses. The following hearings have been published as class two notices in accordance with chapter 985 of the Wisconsin statutes and will be heard by this committee. Number one, James R. and Linda M. Dunbar. Number two, Gary W. and Marcia A. Rome. Number three, Lisa A. and Eugene C. Ike. Number four, David Tovar et al. The County Zoning Committee is a delegated unit of the County Board by ordinance to consider zoning ordinance amendments and decide conditional uses. The Zoning Committee is interested in hearing all pertinent evidence. Witnesses in favor of the application will be called first, those opposed second, and then others. After each witness has appeared, he or she may be questioned by the committee. Persons present who are not appearing as witnesses will be allowed to propose, to probe, excuse me, propose relevant questions to be put to the committee. However, the chair reserves the right to rule on relevancy and no member of the audience will be allowed to give testimony without being sworn in. Because a record of this hearing is being recorded, it is imperative that each witness or speaker identify themselves and their interest in the subject matter of the hearing before speaking. Please speak in the direction of the recorder on the presentation table. A time limit on the presentations may be imposed. I do request that you avoid repetition and limit your remarks to the subject matter being considered. Neither the committee nor your neighbors will benefit from hearing statements that repeat opinions, which have already been expressed or that relate to matters other than the case before the committee. Personal attacks or abuse of testimony and gross hearsay, rumor, or gossip will be ruled out of order by the chair, subject to immediate appeal to the majority of the committee. With that, we'll call this first public hearing to order. The purpose of this hearing is to take testimony regarding the application for James R. and Linda M. Dunbar, located in the southwest corner of the northeast corner of Section 29, Town of Royalton, lying along White Lake Road, fire number E5556, Wapaka, Wisconsin, parcel number 162913, 
for a conditional use permit dwelling less than 22 feet in width in the agriculture and woodland transition district on approximately 40 acres. I will now read the names of the persons notified of the hearing. Gerald Grohn, town chairman, Lori Rodensel, town clerk, Marilyn Ebert, town supervisor, Mike Wieters, town supervisor, James Dunbar, owner, Wapaka County Corporation Council, John J. Behrens, Jr., Wilfred and Virginia Bonnick, Roger A. and Marianne M. Bushley, Michael E. and Amy L. Canterbury, James R. and Linda M. Dunbar, Christopher J. and Tammy L. Ebert, Frederick B. and Bonnie M. Phelps, Alden C. Haynes, Gerard F. and Terry J. Knaus, Gary L. and Luetta M. Miller, Adam W. Quick, Dana Roth and Jason A. Deal, and Canadian National Railroad, Wisconsin Central. I hereby direct a copy of this affidavit to be filed as part of the record of these proceedings. The committee has conducted an on site inspection of this property. The committee will now hear the application for James R. and Linda M. Dunbar. Will the applicant or their agent please come forward? Please raise your right hand. This is a testimony, testimony you're about to give us the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. I do. Thank you. Have a seat, state your name and address, and tell us what the application is about. Um, James R. Dunbar. Um, I live at 155 Washington Street. That's in the village of Winnick County. I bought the farm um, from my dad. It's been a family 100 years um, at the 5556 White Lake Road property. So it's it's uh, you're you're updating buildings. You got rid of one building. My and, and father passed four and a half years ago, and I've been trying to work out with my mom to, to keep that in the family. And we were able to start that process earlier this year, and then closed on May fourth. Um, but in the process of that, without getting real winded on it, um, it been sitting there like that a long time. Kids were breaking into it, not just uh, throwing cans around anymore. They Made a pretty big mess of things. Sure. So uh, I knew there'd be a big task and a big process and just trying to do everything right, get everything all lined up to revitalize things and had to take down buildings and get things. So being that we have a place where we're living, we weren't going to rebuild out there. I just wanted to keep it in the family uh, for, for hunting and for recreation and stuff like that. So that's why I asked for that little building uh, because there was already a subject there already well there. So we might as well have some convenience, but and really and couldn't afford after buying it to put up a big building either. So that's why I put up that smaller building. Yeah. Seems uh, very reasonable. Yeah. Want to understand you're planning on the, you have an old uh, old house that's on the property right now that is going to be removed and it's, it's entirely, well, it's already been removed. Yes. Yeah. I, the only building I saw was the new shed. Yeah, that's all yeah. there. Yeah. yeah. So where those stakes were in the front, well, is that where you're thinking of putting it? Or? Yes, I didn't know quite who would come because I don't live there or what the next process would be. And then um, for that reason, and I think it sounded like you came then um, to check that. So um, based on the map and the, and the distance that I was provided, I mean, somewhat familiar about that from my other dealings or whatever, I staked everything out so that men would know who was my demo contractor, um, which should be happening here soon, um, setting that gravel pad and, and leveling everything. Um, and you see where, where the septic is, so it drops right down to that. And then we have other people scheduled in to do trenches to get everything just to the building this year, um, because then I'll be doing the other stuff next year to finish off the inside. Yeah, I, I didn't walk the property. I just looked from the road and uh, it, it's, reasonably well cleared so it's, you could see the little spikes and lath and stuff you had out there and uh, it just looked like uh, all the setbacks were uh, accounted for and then some so yeah i talked to your food plot guy who was going to pack the seed and okay nice guy and i see no problem whatsoever thank you a lot of good people helping me 
Is there any other questions from the committee? Well, if, if you want to return to your seat, just stick okay. around for a little while Absolutely. in case some other questions come up. I'm going to call for more testimony. Is there any further testimony in favor of this application? Any further testimony in favor of this application? Third call, any testimony in favor of this application? Any testimony in opposition to this application? Any testimony in opposition to this application? Third call, any testimony in opposition? Any testimony? Are there any letters? Yes, Mr. Chairman, I have the town recommendation form for James Dunbar, parcel number 162913 on approximately 40 acres, current zoning district agriculture and land transition. Is the proposal consistent with the town's vision statement as found in the town comprehensive plan indicated as yes? Is the proposal consistent with the town goals, objectives, and development strategies as found in the town comprehensive plan also indicated as yes? Town Plan Commission recommends approval signed by Dwayne Bork dated June 9, 2022. Town Board also recommends approval signed by Gerald Brown and Lori Redensel, both signing June 9th of 2022. Thank you. Does the County and Zoning Committee also have a recommendation? Yes, Mr. Chair, we do. Uh, in, uh, in accordance with the town recommendation, uh, with their uh, concurrence and uh, the recommendation to for approval, we also will approve. Uh, provided they receive a land use permit uh, from the planning and zoning office uh, prior to the structure being put out there, uh, as well as a building permit shall be obtained from local building inspector, Bob Bisney. And I understand you already have contact with Bob Bisney. Uh, and also a, a county approved sanitary system shall also serve the, this new dwelling. And uh, an existing dwelling shall be removed prior to habitation of the proposed dwelling, to which we understand has already taken place. Yeah. Oops. I didn't see a house there. There wasn't. No. Okay. What is that? Oh, I was going to ask before. Was that a silo? That brown part? That yes, uh, uh, that was my dad's dealings. He liked to sit out there and watch the field and watch the deer and stuff like that. So he he uh, had that idea. Oh boy, and it turned out pretty cool. Actually. Yeah. So like, yeah. I don't know what it might have been, but you never know. Yeah. yeah. Something's a little different. Yeah. yeah. Is there any other questions from the committee? If not, we'd be in order to have a motion to approve this uh, conditional use. What do we got here? Yes, it's a conditional use permit. I'll make a motion. We approve that. Thank you. Is there a second? I'll second that. <laughs> Move to approve this conditional use permit with, with the conditions stated by uh, Super, Supervisor Wilford, seconded by Supervisor Hardy. Roll call vote. Hardy? Yes. Nygaard? Yes. McClellan? Yes. Wilford? Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. Uh, is there a motion to close the hearing? Make also, okay. Moved by Supervisor Wilford, seconded by Supervisor Hardy to close the hearing. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, motion carries. Thank you. On to the next. With that, we will call the second public hearing to order. The purpose of this hearing is to take testimony regarding the application for Gary W. and Marcia A. Rome, located in the southeast quarter of the northeast quarter of Section 23, Town of Royalton. Lying along White Lake Road, fire number E6871, Wapaka, Wisconsin, parcel number 1623148, for a conditional use permit, personal storage facility in the Agriculture and Woodland Transition District on approximately 7.6 acres. I will now read the names of the persons notified of this hearing Gerald Rohn, Town Chairman, Lori Redensel, Town Clerk, Marilyn Ebert, Town Supervisor. Mike Leaders, Town Supervisor, U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, Kyle Savan, Department of Natural Resources, Dale Resabek, Gary Rohn, Opaca County Corporation Council, Jeffrey R. and Tricia L. Grimm, Gordon D. and Carol J. Jaworski, Daniel P. Nett, Gregory D. and Clarissa M. Radke, Gary W. and Marcia A. Rohn, Kenneth A. and Carol L. Swing. I hereby direct a copy of this affidavit to be filed as part of the record of these proceedings. The committee has conducted an on-site inspection of the property. 
The committee will now hear the application for Gary W. and Marcia A. Rome. Will the applicant please come forward to be sworn in to testify? The sort of testimony you're about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Thank you. Have a seat, state your name and address, and tell us what the application is about. My name is Gary W. Mullen. My address is E6803 Whitebird Road, Whitebird, Wisconsin. Two applications. Shall I address both those? Uh, I don't know what the protocol is. Just, just, I would just uh, the one that we have before us is the ones that we have up in yellow here. I believe that we you have a separate one that's going through the town right now, I understand. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Uh, it, it has actually. Uh, okay, um, shown in yellow are proposed to uh, build uh, two more storage uh, units. I will say that the one on the north end, uh, the one on it, yes, uh, that is not feasible. Uh, it's just the topography there just will not. Take too much fill. Yeah, take too much fill and just cost. And, Whatnot. So, with that said, um, basically looking at the one there in yellow, um, right there, and uh, it would be 28 by 160 feet in size, which is the same size as uh, as uh, four of the buildings that you see there, currently there. You see the ones in white are uh, uh, buildings. So. And yeah. that's about it. If there's any questions, pretty simple. Yes. Yeah. I don't think I have any questions. Anybody else? It's in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, thank you. If you want to just stick around for a little while, you can return to your seat. And in case any other questions come up, I'll call for more testimony. Any further testimony in favor of this application? Any further testimony in favor of this application? Any testimony in favor of this application? Any testimony in opposition to this application? Any testimony in opposition to this application? Third call, any testimony in opposition to this application? Any testimony? Are there any letters? Yes, I have the town recommendation form for Gary Rowland, parcel number 16, 2314 8 on approximately eight acres, uh, current zoning district of AWT, agriculture and woodland transition. Is the proposal consistent with the town vision statement as found in the town comprehensive plan indicated as yes? Is the proposal consistent with the town goals, objectives and development strategies as found in the town comprehensive plan also indicated as yes? Plan, uh, Town Planning Commission recommends approval signed by Dwayne Fork dated June 9, 2022. Town Board also recommends approval signed by Gerald Brown and Lori Redensel, also on June 9, 2022. Thank you. Ms. Landon's only office have a recommendation. Uh, we do, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Yeah, our recommendation is for approval uh, in accordance with the, uh, the, the town's recommendation for this. Uh, you know, the conditions that we have on this is that the applicant must receive a uh, land use permit from the planning and zoning office prior to the start of uh, construction, and that they also receive a building permit also prior to the start of construction. Okay, is there any other questions from the committee? Well, then we'd be in order to have a motion to uh, act on this conditional use permit. Make a motion to approve. Thank you. Close seconds. Moved by Supervisor Hardy, seconded by Supervisor McClone to approve this conditional use permit. Uh, roll call vote. Well, for yes. McClone. Yes. Hardy. Yes. Nygaard. Yes. Motion carries. Is there a motion to close the hearing? We'll make that motion to close. Second. Thank you. Moved by Supervisor Wilfer, seconded by Supervisor Hardy to close this hearing. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, motion carries. Okay, we will call the third public hearing to order. The purpose of this hearing is to take testimony regarding the application for Lisa A. and Eugene C. Ike, 
located in the southeast quarter of the northwest quarter and the northeast quarter of the south the northwest quarter government lot eight of section 30 town of Mukla, line along on little chicago lane fire number n3211 opaque wisconsin parcel number 15 30 58 5 for a conditional use permit recreational vehicle in excess of 30 days in the agriculture and woodland transition district on approximately 1.1 acres i will now read the names of the persons notified of this hearing Jim Kearns, Town Chair, Jeanette Zielinski, Town Clerk, Lee Shaw, Town Supervisor, Matthew Mansky, Town Supervisor, Department of Natural Resources, Dale Rezebeck, U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, Kyle Zabon, Department of Natural Resources, Brian Cunningham, Eugene Ike, Owner, Wapaka County Corporation Council, Neil M. and Cynthia J. Porker, Dwayne F. and Karen L. Bruns, Lisa A. and Eugene C. Ike, Benjamin D. Lenz, Jason M. Magolski, and Sean and Tiffany Williams. I hereby direct a copy of this affidavit to be filed as part of the record of these proceedings. The committee has conducted an on-site inspection of this property. The committee will now hear the application for Lisa A. and Eugene C. Ike. Will the applicant or their agent please come forward? Please raise your right hand. Testimony about to give us the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Yes. Thank you. Please stay, have a seat. State your name and address, and and uh, tell us what what uh, it's about here. Eugene Ike, uh, 1103 West Winnebago Street, Appleton, Wisconsin. Um, wife and I bought this property late last year, late fall. Um, it was owned by her sister for quite a few years, and it was left. Uh, all the disrepair of the real estate in it for about a dozen years or so. Um, there's a cottage on it, it's the biggest uh, box on the driveway, but it's not inhabitable at the moment. We kind of cleaned it all last fall on the paint, tearing out the inside walls of the machine to see what we got, whether anything's salvageable or not. It's all built on slab. Um, but in order to do so, we Wanted a place to stay there, so we put a camp around there last fall to get a used camper. And today's market was a task to say the least. We had to jump on it, so we stayed in it maybe twice last fall. That was it before we mineralized it. Um, I did get the conditioner. I went for the permit this spring right away, um, and that's all it works. But it's uh, it was parked at the where it was crooked there last fall, and then moved it back where it's more about. Um, we're also, the new old buildings need work on the process of building a permitted privy, replace the old privy that's there, get rid of that. Um, garage roof, it's a small one car garage, and there's a well house in the new building, so there we have that. So, um, so we're looking at having a camper, uh, to the town muckle meetings, we discussed maybe like the two, you know, uh, approved for two years with review after that to see where we are at that point. So, yeah. That. yeah, it was, uh, yeah, I, I, I didn't meet anybody going back there. So. <laughs> it was kind of weird. I talked to the neighbor. I couldn't see the sign. It was so close to the building. Yeah. I went up and I talked to the neighbor. He said, I'm so happy that somebody's cleaning up that mess. Yeah. It's yeah. the exact word I talked to the guy for quite a while. 15 was that number. Yeah. All right. I have a trespassing sign. No, no. no. <laughs> it's like this uh, next so thing to a log trail road back really in the woods. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's peaceful. We are in God's country now. Yeah. <laughs> the meeting before we'd gone to a fish camp over by Rawhide, and it's like, well, we hope we don't meet anybody yes. here either. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're bringing up the place, trying to make something. So. How are the mosquitoes back there? Are they not too bad, or? They're a challenge. I know the, the deer flies right now. Oh, I, but I went in further with that other guy. He's got a very nice place back there. Boy, was he swatting deer flies. Oh, oh, I've got deer flies too. Yeah. They're horrible. Must be the year for them. Yeah. Oh, he's trying to clean it up, and we want to help. That's right. Yeah. Well, I don't have any more questions. It's 
Anybody else have any? Thank you. If you want to just stick around for a little while, and in case there are any more questions come sure. up, I'm going to call for more testimony. Any further testimony in favor of this application? Yes, sir. This where our testimony about to give us the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Yes, sir. Thank you. State your name for the record and address, and you know the drill. Lee Shaw, E9083, Plot Road, Milano, Wisconsin. I'm a Muckwa supervisor and planning commission chair. Uh, yeah, it's a challenge just to find it, huh? Like, <laughs> I had to make a phone call. <laughs> <laughs> and then Wayne or uh, Tom had to call me. Because he couldn't right? remember where. Anyway, yeah, he, uh, yeah, it's back in there. Uh, but I think we're just tickle pink that somebody's, you know, rehabbing instead of just, you know, tearing everything down and, you know, so. Right. Or, yeah, leave, we're, or leave in the mess. Yeah. yeah. So we did stipulate, you know, we'll give you two years and then we can revisit it if you need more time on that, you know. So, but I, I'm not too worried. Yet. It's a nice project for them. Yeah. Fully and fully behind it. Okay. Thank you. Any further testimony in favor of this application? Any further testimony in favor of this application? Any further testimony in favor of this application? Any testimony in opposition to this application? Any testimony in opposition to this application? Third call. Any testimony in opposition to this application? Any testimony? Are there any letters? Yes, I have the town recommendation form for Eugene Ike, parcel number 153058 on a parcel in one acres. Current zoning district is AWT, Agriculture and Woodland Transition. Is the proposal consistent with the town vision statement as found in the town comprehensive plan? Indicated as yes. Is the proposal consistent with town goals, objectives, and development strategies as found in the town comprehensive plan? Also indicated as yes. Town Plan Commission recommends approval signed by Lee Shaw dated June 1st, 2022. Town Board also recommends approval signed by Jim Kearns and Jeanette Zielinski dated June 14th, 2022. Thank you. Does the Planning and Zoning Office have a recommendation? Yes, Mr. Chair, we do. Uh, in accordance with the recommendation from the town, we are recommending approval of this, uh, provided that they do receive a, a county approved sanctuary system on the property and that the use of the recreational vehicle for habitation for greater than 30 days shall be discontinued uh, once that dwelling is suitable for uh, habitation. And I'm also understanding that the town is interested in including a two year review on this property. Just just for the park, you know, for the camper to be you know, parked there. That's that's all we're after. Is so just to take a you know, make sure after two years it can you know he should be removing it if he's in, got it had one. So it's contingent on whether that camper is still there. So if the camper is off the property inside two years, then there's no need for that two year review. Then correct. Okay. Correct. So then we'll just add the condition that if the camper is still there in two years, then we'll have a two year review. Question, can the camper be stored there if it's not inhabited? If they, so they are allowed to store it on the property if they have a principal structure there, which they would at that time. Yeah. They just wouldn't be able to use it for human habitation anymore. Right. And then they would have to have it properly stored, which we allow for in a driveway, or if you want to store it inside of a structure of some variety, that'd be up to you. That's fine. Okay, so we'll just add that to your review then. And uh, if that camper is still there and being used for human habitation? Correct. Okay. It can be stored there, but you can't have two residences. Right, we just can't be using it for human habitation mm -hmm. and or the principal dwelling. Does that, does that make sense? Yes, sir. Once the cottage down, I Gotcha. <laughs> Okay, give me an order for a motion to act on this. I'll make that motion. Thank you. Is there a second? Yes, second. Moved by Supervisor McClone, second by Supervisor Wilford to uh, approve this conditional use permit. Uh, roll call vote. Uh, Wilford? Yes. McClone? Yes. Party? Yes. Nygaard? Yes. Motion carries. Is there a motion to close the hearing? Motion to close. Second. Moved by Supervisor Hardy, seconded by Supervisor Wilford to close this hearing. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, motion carries. Okay, we'll call the fourth public hearing to order. The purpose of this hearing is to take testimony. 
an application for David Tovar et al. Located in the northeast quarter of the northeast quarter and the northwest quarter of the northeast quarter of section 19, town of Wapaka, mine along Ballard Road and State Road 49, fire number N3612, Wapaka, Wisconsin, parcels number 2019-112 and 2019-121, for reviews of two conditional use permits, up to third, up to three recreational vehicles in excess of 30 days and dwelling less than 22 feet with in the Agriculture and Woodland Transition District on approximately 31.35 acres. I will now read the names of the persons notified at this hearing. Evan Abrahamson, Town Chair. Mary Colden, Town Clerk. Gaylord Hanson, Town Supervisor. Mary Trice, Town Supervisor. Wisconsin DOT, Kelly Nicklaus and David Muret. Wapaka County Corporation Council. Abrahamson and Abrahamson LLC. a &R Pipeline Company. City of Wapaka, Philip Hayes III, John T. Sr. and Teresa A. Breed, Brent Wittig and Brooke Larson, Barbara A. Mumbrew, Jim and Terry Schultz, David Tobar et al., Jose Vasquez, Woodlands Real Estate Group, and LLC. I uh, hereby direct a copy of this affidavit to be filed as part of the record of these proceedings. The committee has not conducted on-site inspection of this property as it is a review. Rebecca Fields from the Planning and Zoning Office will present the staff report. Morning, everybody. Good morning. Um, so we've got actually two conditional uses wrapped up on, on two properties that are adjacent to one another. They first obtained a conditional use for three recreational vehicles. Um, and then when we went out there to do that first review, we found that one of them was uh, like a tiny home something they had made on their own out of chassis. So then they went through a second conditional use um, to consider that a dwelling less than 22 feet in width. Um, so as of right now, they've got um, that out there and then the, the two campers on a separate parcel because of the same uh, fashion, we don't allow the two different dwelling units on one parcel. So it worked out well that they had the two parcels available for that. Um, so I think this first one looks like it's the conditional use review for the dwelling less than 22 feet. Um, so they did obtain their land use permit through us back uh, earlier this year. Uh, the building permit um, wasn't required uh, because it's on a chassis still. So the building inspector doesn't get involved with that. They have uh, portable toilets on site um, and have since 2020. Uh, that was actually a, an original condition for those recreational vehicles anyway. Um, and then the yearly review here, that, which is the first one for us here. Um, I've contacted um, Mr. Tovar and then also the town chairman. Um, the town is, is happy with the, the state of the property. They had concerns at first with the, the recreational vehicles, and I think now they're um, very pleased with what's happened out there and, and what they do out there as far as just recreating and using the property for themselves. Um, so I think they, they feel that we can close the reviews now on both of these conditional use permits until there's a point that if they have any kind of concerns that we can bring it back in front of the committee. Okay. okay. And there's a, just a quick look. Yeah, there's the porta potties and then the, um, the home that they built on the chassis themselves. That, that is a tiny, tiny yes. thing. <laughs> <laughs> Different pictures, right? Yeah, 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 just those two. Just those two. I have a map up there that kind of showed the two separate parcels and kind of where everything is located. Right there. Yeah. Parcel line is kind of hard to see there, but the, the little blue square is kind of where the porta potties sit. Um, the circle on the left of those is where that, that tiny home sits roughly. And then that other parcel to the east where the two dots are is where those other two campers are located. For those of you new to the committee, this is uh, where Ballard Road comes out on 49 at the bottom of the hill. Uh, going north, railroad viaduct bridge, and the Ballard Road angles back at kind of a sharp angle. And there's a, a gas pipeline. Is it a metering station or what do they call those? I don't know, but there's a station. Yeah, uh, the driveway is real close to that, I, I think, isn't it? Or how's that? Pretty. It's, it's, I think it's a reasonable distance from it. Okay, okay. It's it's on the same side of the road yes. as that. And it's, Correct. Yeah. Yeah. 
So can it, any of this be seen from the road or not? We have to drive back there. Yeah, we drive back there. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. they just use it for their family. To just yeah, just a couple families that get together and recreate out there. There's a like a little garden area and a shed that they've got stuff to store stuff. It was like three young guys, wasn't it? Or yes. yeah. well, three three young families. Three yeah. Young. Okay. So recently, you need three porta potties. <laughs> that was, I think, the condition of the township because they had the three separate okay. campers out there. They wanted one for each. Okay. Um, what about there? <laughs> Shortly after they got the approval. Yeah. Thank you. I don't think porta potties are that expensive. But... No, I think they're fairly, yeah. fairly easy to either buy or just hold them. Yeah. So Okay, thank you. Uh, is there any other questions from the planning and zoning committee? Uh, a little different agenda on these kind of here, but uh, I'll call for more testimony. Thank you, Becky. And uh, I see Evan made it uh, us in the schedule. The sort of testimony you're about to give us the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Yes. Thank you. State your name and address. For Evan record. Abrahamson, 82514 Larson Road, the back of Wisconsin. Thank you. Um, just over the fence observations, they mowed some walking trails. Uh, they're out there in the winter cross country skiing. Uh, they just look like a family just out there having a weekend of fun from time to time. Thanks. Uh, as far as the porta potties, because originally they had the trailers. If we call the tiny house and the uh, trailers, they had them spaced out quite a bit. So we actually asked them to have one convenient to each trailer. And uh, that was the reason we have three. Judging from your picture, there looks like the tiny house is now on the property or, uh, yeah, on the area of the old original farmhouse there. You really can't see anything from the road there. There's, there's just nothing visible, but. Uh, like I say, over the fence observations, I've seen them out there with the children playing and uh, just look like they have a good time. Nice. Uh, we have no ops for uh, objections to them being there. We've had no complaints, so we're happy. Okay. Thank you. I'll call for further testimony. I see we got people uh, are Zooming here. Uh, any, any of you are... I'm assuming you're you're interested in this hearing. I mean, if you want to testify, I'll call sure. For, okay, I call for testimony in favor of this application. Please raise your right hand. You swear the testimony you're about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. I do. Thank you. State your name and address, and tell us what uh, what uh, you wish to say to this. Sure. Um, Crystal Ransom, um, 811 Powers Street, Oshkosh, Wisconsin, 54901. Um, and I'm one of the landowners. My husband is David Tovar. And then um, we own that with two other families, Dustin Drover being one of them. And then the Home Greens, Kyle and Andrea Home Greens. So, um, yep, exactly what you guys have been saying. That's what we do. We come up on the weekends and enjoy it with our family. Um, do a little bit of gardening. We've been trying to clear out the invasive plants that have been um, kind of taking over on some of the prairie areas. And we've also been planting some native flowers. Um, there's a butterfly habitat on the land that we've been trying to maintain. And that's about it, enjoying the land and improving it as much as we can. Um, the porta potties, we actually did purchase porta potties rather than leasing them. So we will have those um, permanently and then those just get cleaned out regularly. Okay. Very good. Any questions from the committee? I don't, I don't think I have any. Thank you. Uh, I'll, I'll call for further testimony if there's some any further testimony in favor of this application. I'm in favor of it. <laughs> <laughs> Please raise your right hand. You swear the testimony you're about to give is the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. Thank you. Thank you. State your name and address. Dustin and, uh, Drover, 1101 CP, Ashgash, Wisconsin. Okay. So uh, uh, tell us your involvement. Uh, I'm the one with the tiny house. Um, we just come up there every month 
uh, once a month about right now. I just had a kid, so we're not coming up as much right now, but yeah, the idea is just to keep up the land and uh, just take care of it, like the invasives, like she was saying, and have the place for our kids to play. That's Congratulations on the new arrival. Thank you. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, that's it. And, and, and thank you all for uh, cleaning it up and doing what you're doing, too. Yeah. Any other questions from the committee? Yeah. Yes. Do we have to have these hearings every year? Do we kick these down the road and kind of, you know, they, they seem to be doing a good job unless we have complaints that we just not have them? Yes. Yeah. You, can, you can, you can, you uh, can change your, what is it set up for now? Is it for every year or it is it? It was an annual review before. Um, so now, like I said, my recommendation would be to close those annual reviews until, yes. like I said, until we have any kind of concerns or complaints, right. and then we can bring it back to committee at that point in time. I would agree with that. Yeah. Okay. So uh, what we can do is uh, uh, have motion to approve this conditional use permit and close the review. Yeah. Call, it, call it a day. Yeah. And if there's a complaint, we just deal with it then. Yes. Okay. Any further testimony in favor of this application? Any further testimony in favor of this application? Third call, any testimony in favor of this application? Any testimony in opposition to this application? Any testimony in opposition to this application? Third call, any testimony in opposition to this application? Any testimony? Are there any letters? Uh, Mr. Chairman, I just have an email from Kelly McLaws. Um, she's the access management coordinator with the DOT. She just stated that they have no concerns. Okay, very good. The planning and zoning office have a recommendation. Uh, our recommendation follows with uh, Becky Field's recommendation to close the annual review and leave it up to uh, on a complaint driven basis. Very good. So we'd be in order to have a motion to that effect to approve the review and close, close the review for this property. I like that motion. Thank you, sir. Second. I'll second that. Moved by Supervisor Wilfer, seconded by Supervisor Hardy to approve the conditional use permit and close the review on this, this property. Roll call vote. Wilfer. Yes. McLone. Abstain. Hardy. Yes. Had an on-site inspection. Nygaard, yes. Motion carries. Is there a motion to close the hearing? I'll make that motion. Second. Moved by Supervisor Hardy, seconded by Supervisor Wilford to close this hearing. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carried. Thank you, everybody. Yes. Thank you. Okay. So. Where's Valor doing about 49? Oh. So we got pretty, pretty short meeting. That was today. amazing. Yeah, right? Yeah, we got. Yeah, 45 yeah. minutes. Yeah. You just never know sometimes, right? Holy so we get our next meeting coming up on August 9th at uh, 10 a.m. Halfway down the embankment. This was really nice. We're all in the same area. Yeah, how how that ever happened? Two on crazy. White Lake Road and another right. mile or two east, right? Mm -hmm. Luck of the draw, right? Yeah. yeah. Has there been a motion to adjourn? Oh, or you guys yes. still okay. Need a... We need a motion to adjourn if we're done. Wow. Motion to adjourn. Sorry, <laughs> we're adjourned. Thank you, everybody. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thank you, Diane. Bye. 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 Bye.